we got uh, Brian White, Mr. Pid Tuning, Mr. Basement Pid Tune guy. Yeah. Pid Toolbox. Guess, uh, Pid Toolbox guy. There you go. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, uh, what's he got? Yeah, so Brian White has some data that you might be interested in. Um, basically, uh, he was doing some testing and realized that uh, he was getting a lot better noise um, on his quad, his gyro noise, when he was running mm -hmm. a higher PWM. Um, and this is something I've heard on and off a little bit without very clear testing to show. And he did some clear testing to show that on some setups, now he, he did this on a 7-inch with a different setup, and it was not as clear. It was almost the same. But on some setups, he was he's finding that uh, just changing PWM from 24 to 48 is... You can see how significant of an effect that has. Uh, That's a huge effect. And, yeah. and it's it's extremely significant because it is this lower frequency noise down around, say, 100 to 200 hertz. Maybe between 50 and 200 hertz is the noise that is most problematic for the PID loop and most difficult to filter out. So finding ways to get rid of that noise before the gyro sees it is, is massively significant. Uh, and has a big effect on your ability to pit tune the quad. Um, that's fascinating. Yeah, pretty cool. There's also some good discussion. We linked the Facebook post in the down in the description along with everything else. If you need to find anything, there's a description uh, where you can find out uh, all that great information. But yeah, mm -hmm. there's a good post um, in the FPV sound lifters group. I can't see the post because I'm not in this group. Maybe I should join this group. There we go. Um, I, oh, oh, yeah. No, so okay. Ryan Harold talks a little bit and a couple other folks. So, yeah, some good comments about that. Definitely uh, something I have heard of, but again, like I just did not know it would be so profound. Okay. Well, let's see if they let me in. <laughs> I All always, right. whenever, whenever a group has questions before they'll let you in, I assume they're going to recognize my name and I answer the questions in a really belligerent way. We'll see how that goes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so worth a try. If you've got a quad with really bad gyro noise, especially a larger quad, you may benefit from going to a higher PWM frequency in a maybe a non-obvious way. Yeah. Awesome. 